<laughs> have I missed this? Have I? I say have. Of course I've missed it. I'm back. We're back. With a bigger bag on. As you can see, I've got the big rig on. We're uh, we're going for more of it. Ooh. Have a look at this though. Latchy and Locky. Shout out latch and locks every time. Just some classics really these. Not world beaters but appreciated nonetheless. Bit of a sore throat because I'm a bit under the weather. I came down a bit ill after the bushcraft show. Shout out everyone who was at the bushcraft show and everyone who came up and showed love. I was humbled. You made me and my family feel very very special and I appreciate it very very much so if you're one of them people that came and said hello much love to you I'm looking forward to getting up top and I've got some new equipment to show you and I've got a new tent which I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting in alright bit of a rope Stop it opening too far. Respect that. Always make sure it's shut properly. Keep his animals in. Arcator. Arcator. I'm tempted to keep here by the side of this. By the side of this town, because uh, <clears throat> I'm not feeling it, mate. I'm not feeling well. And it's gassing me, I'm sweating far too much. I know the sun's out and I've got my big pack on and I've got a lot of, I've got camera gear and food and it's quite, and the tent's quite heavy, so it's relatively a heavy bag. But I shouldn't be gassing this much, mate, and sweating this much, I'm fitter than this. And uh, wind's picking up, you can see clouds are moving quite quick up top. So I'm just weighing up my pros and cons. The pros are, I can relax next to here and have a chilled one and it's not very windy because we're in this sort of cauldron and we can have a swim the pros are going up there as there's chance of a good sunset and just the views mate just the views in it got off top i'm going up there aren't i I've got to tackle this ridge Temperature's dropped, mate. I can feel it on the old moobs. Feel it on moobs. <laughs> Dr. Moob. Nah. Nah, that don't work. I'm losing it because well. I don't have brain for it. Some lovely views, but it's getting hard. There's some good scrambles up here, actually. It's not for the, uh, not for the faint-hearted. <sighs> not for moobs, either. Soon get found out if you've got excess move. I'm gonna get found out. Don't want to be tumbling off there. Just gotta get up here and then I think there's a bit more after that. And then we'll be at the summit. <sighs> Standing on the shoulder of giants. <sighs> Tell you what, it's nice to have boots on. Started off being a bit gassed out, but and uh, and then I got into my stride. Moves are still a little bit moist, like still got moist moves, but you're gonna have, aren't you? If you just climbed a climbed a big hill. The summit of Mount Womblecock. And that's it, another one bites the dust. What's that? Bird keck. Just put my hand in bird keck, which is joyous. <laughs> the only time I'm ever gonna do that, probably on this whole trip on the summit, and it's straight into bird keck. <laughs> hey. That's lucky, isn't it? Lucky to have bird shit on me. Miss me, we're gonna have some good skies. <sighs> Regarde, so the wind's coming in, coming this way, the sun's gonna set over yonder. So it only makes it makes sense for me to get my tent pitched just a little bit further down this hill on this side. <coughs> it's me done. I'm done in. 
Let's get new wigwam out. I'm excited about it. I present to you the new wigwam. There she is. Look at that. She reminds me of the helm too. What is it? Well, I'll tell you. Tearing over. I will have a little look around it and see it in action. But I will have already done a review of this, which I'll link here. Or I might have done it after this, so if there's nothing there, I haven't done it. And that's that. So I've showed this before, but it is the um, flex tail gear, tiny pump, just weighs and it stops you getting condensation in your bag I mean your, your, your mat, sorry <clears throat> and it blows it up in no time and uh, this is my new sleeping mat I've had the X-Therm for years and it is a bit battered and bruised and I just thought I'd treat myself to something a little bit oops, treat myself to something a little bit lighter because I'm going off on a bit of a a bit of a walk <laughs> And I'm trying to get my pack weight down, maybe stop carrying antlers about and stuff. But watch this. And you don't even need to stand with it, you can just put that, you can just put it down and leave it to, to blow up. It's the Neo Air Uberlite made in Ireland. No time at all. And then I'll just finish it off with the, with the bag pump and then we'll get it in the tent. Sorry if you've already watched a review of this, but some people, this might be the first time they're ever watching, and if it is, all right, mate, welcome. Right, this is a great feature, because you open up, and there's a clip on the door. Charlie clips, and you just, oh, straight over there, boom. You know, none of that rolling it all up and stuff, it's just done. Excellent feature. Plenty of room. So, it's a two door, but the second door doesn't have a porch, so... Or a vestibule, whatever you want to call it. A lot of room here. This is me 70 litre Osprey Aether, and it's there, plenty of room for it. And in we go. There's a mixture of mesh and normal material, so I reckon it'll be good in all seasons, this thing. It feels good, mate. Do you know why? It feels... I don't know, it reminded me of the Helm 2 when I was putting it up with the red pole and the blue pole. Very easy to put up, very quick. Um, Self-standing as well, so you can move it around and get your door wherever you want it. As I say, it is two doors. This, again, it's just... I was looking at quilts, you know, and this is so light. It's the Alp kit. Pipe Dream 400. Do you know what? If you want a quilt, mate, just unslip, unzip your sleeping bag. That's all I do. I just have it like that, fully unzipped. Gives me a little toe box at the end to put my feet in if I need. And I just use it as a quilt. And, and then in winter or in the colder, when it gets cold, I can just zip it up. So I've got two options there. And there's no point in dropping all that money on a quilt when a quilt is essentially just an unzipped sleeping bag. So you give yourself gear cell options there. Um, a Trekology pillow, that's that's seeing me well, that. It's doing well. And this is main event, look. This is main event. We've got this, uh, now I forget what it's called. I'm going to do proper reviews on the little things like this. I will be putting them on my second channel. Just something nice for your skin to go on so you're not on that, that sweaty clobber if you're using a, a quilt. It's got these buckles underneath to attach it all and it cinches down pretty nice and then underneath I've just got this really thin foam mat which gives me a little bit of extra protection for the um, for the sleep mat and also it stops it slipping around so much and then I'll put on my down my down trousers and my down jacket to sit outside and ogle the uh, all that sort of gear the splendor and it goes all the way down to the floor so it's it can be used as a four season a four season tent. I would probably swap out the pegs that came with it. It's just these. So I'll swap these out. 
Oh, it's good to be out, mate. Look at that. Atmospheric. And uh, it's quite hazy. My voice is going a bit. I've got a, a bit of a sharp throat. So. Sorry for um, sorry to anyone who's tuned in just for waffle chops. I can't, I can't be giving it to you because my throat hurts too much. So this might just be a scenic one. I've got a northern monk or two just to uh, just to uh, just for why not. Couple of northern monks. It's forecast to get to about 20, 20 kilometres an hour wind. So nothing too, nothing too leery. What I'm hoping for more than anything is clear, uh, clear night skies. It doesn't look like it at the moment. It's, it's pretty overcast. And that's me in new wigwam. Actually, they've given me so. <laughs> backstory, just a bit of a backstory. I've been looking for something to to rival me Hilleberg, just that didn't weigh as much and that wasn't maybe as I don't know. Can be quite clicky, can't it? Being in the Hilleberg crew, and I wanted to just take a step back from that a little bit. So I've been looking. I tried the Sea to Summit Ultra too. It wasn't for me. Don't get me wrong. It is a great tent for somebody it just wasn't for me it didn't work out for me and i, I but it, i feel like pete i didn't if i don't know if anyone from seed summit's watching i'm sorry for um for slating it but it just wasn't for me it's still a mint tent i get it i get it i get what you did but it just wasn't for me anyway on the quest to uh on the quest to get a new tent i was looking at british companies um and I remember my Helm 2 was so good, mate. The Helm 2 was Wild Country, which is part of Terra Nova, I believe. And this is a, this is a Terra Nova Pioneer 2, which I was going to buy myself, but I thought, well, I'll reach out to them and just say, you know, I'm looking for a tent to showcase, you know, British maker. Are you into it? And they said, yeah. They said, you can choose a tent if you want one. Just choose a tent. So I chose this one. I could have got something a lot more expensive. I could have got all the bells and whistles, but this ticked all the boxes for me. I've got, I don't have to, but I like to have two doors on my tent. And it was a deal breaker not having two doors. And this has got two doors, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a huge vestibule in one of the sides, which is perfectly fine for me. It's just so that people can get in and out and so you can see the views and stuff. You've got your side with the vestibule to cook on, which is great. And it's got the, the cap on it, like the Alak, which is a brilliant feature for any tent because it just it enables you to have that that mesh under there so all the condensation can come out of there, and but the rain can't get in. But I am looking forward to it. And it's been good, not just, uh, just not coming out with uh, ultralight stuff, just coming out for comfort. Got some nice food to cook up, a couple of beers, um, just warm clothes, just <laughs> two-man tent, heavy duty. It's a nice style of camping, but it's harder getting up, man. It's harder getting up with all that weight on your back. I can tell thee that. What time are we on? Is it beer o'clock? 20 to 7. Do a bit more admin and then we'll spark one, shall we? Yeah. Let's see if we can get you on there, look, a little makeshift. I've not... I've not brought my good camera or my good tripod or out. Just makeshift, you're on a rock there. But you're, you're happy, aren't you? You look happy, mate. You look happy. <laughs> I'm happy. Throat's a bit shagged, but... I'm happy. Look at tent, man. Look at wigwam. I like it. <coughs> Some real cool little features on her. Love it. Love it. Loving my new mat. Loving my new sleeping pad. Life is good. They've, um... Sorry if you can't see me or hear me. I don't even have a good microphone. Oh, battery's going... Mint laugh. They were kind enough to give me a discount code to pass on to you. Um, as I say, this is... I got the tent for free, but I'm not getting paid to say it like that, it's, that it's good. I'm going to give you my honest opinion of it. I won't give it now. I'll give it on in the morning. I'll tell you how she fared on her first night. Um, but as I say, to review, to 
to watch the full review it'll be there or I'll leave a link below to the full review. If you go over, you can get any of the Terra Nova, the Helm, uh, sorry, any of the Terra Nova, the Wild Country stuff. I'll leave a link below and type in Hayes 20 at checkout and you get 20% off. Here, mate, our oh, battery's gonna go. I wanna go, ksh, cheers, mate, and it's gonna go in it because it's flashing. So I'll change battery. Uh, I should have the door shut, really. Two things I should, I should have shoes off. Door closed. A little Burke's getting in. I've only got two beers because I just. I won't feel it wine or anything. I just wanted to have a nice chilled one. Absent friends, mate. Absent friends. Thanks for joining me. And also, thanks to everyone at the Bushcraft Show who came and said hello. Who came and said hello and was so nice to, to to me and my family. It was, I really was blown away by the love and thank you very much, it's reciprocated. Absent friends. Ah, oh, she's good. Wow, well, she's on fine form. Rather still. Anyway, I was just checking in with you. I don't, I don't really have much to say. Other than thanks to everyone at the Bushcraft Show and thanks to everyone for sticking with me on vids and that. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the support. So I've postponed my long distance hike. I've got some good stuff coming up and a few a few long distance trails that I'm looking forward to. It's just finding time. Finding time to juggle everything. Keep everyone happy and most importantly keep me nogging right as well for the people around me that need me. And it's nice to be able to... Oh, that's why I like coming out here, man. Just to reset and uh, just to be able to have a little think and prioritise stuff. I always bring me a little book as well. A little notebook in there. I just write stuff down, make little plans or... You know, if you get everything out of your brain onto some paper, it seems less daunting. And um, oftentimes there'll be less there'll be less to worry about than you actually think. So, top tip. Top tip for you. Yeah, as a top tip for you. Get your get your get your get your laughing gear around one of these bad boys. Delicious. My next beer will be out uh, at the end of this month. I'm looking forward to it. Proud of this one. So I hope you all I hope you uh, I hope you I hope your beer swillers uh, get involved with it and I hope you enjoy it. I'm proud of it. Oh. Right, mate. That's enough. That's enough. It's enough waffle from me. Arcata. Will you, Arcata? It's glorious. How's my foot healed up? Thought I was going to have to have st <coughs> stitches the other day. Glorious. There's a beautiful glow on the horizon. Just the odd cloud drifting by quite quickly. I mean, I can't. I've had to jump on just to tell you how lovely it is, because although I do have a my throat hurts, but Arcata Rigade. It's real mellow, actually. It's nice. I love all camping. <laughs> I love it all. Not having to, like, I'm not knackered out. I don't have to jump into bed and dry my socks out and put a load of miles in. It's just be. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. And then there's maybe a couple of hours trek tomorrow to truck. Might go a scenic route. Definitely going to go for a swim. Just at my own pace though, you don't have to chew the miles up and it's a, it's an absolute delight. And it's a delight to have shoes on. And it's my first, it's my first camp since the Cape Raff and, well my first one like this, 
since the Cape Raff and the Barefoot Challenge, so it's nice. It's nice to have flowers on. How does she look, do you think? She looks good, doesn't she? Does she look good? The wig one. I like them colours, mate. I like the dark green and the black. Anyone who's been watching my channel for a long, for a while, for a few years, will know that I had the Helm 2, which is Terra Nova, which is uh, Wild Country, um, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it, and this reminds me of it. And so it's already off to a it's off to a very good start. You need to spend a night in it. You need to use the zips and the little bits of the pockets and things and. I guess the, one of the big factors is condensation in a tent, but I find that condensation just depends on the weather and where you are and time of year, all that sort of stuff. So there's a, there's a decent wind tonight and we'll leave the top zips open. It's not forecast to rain. So if it does start raining, I'll just close them up. So I'm expecting it'll be all right with condensation, but it is a four season tent, so it's to the floor. So there's not much there's not much airflow underneath it and hopefully hopefully that top vent underneath that cap that'll do that'll do it that'll do wonders but time will tell one more let's have one more 360 for you there she is look. <laughs> there she be whoa get a bit dizzy on me dizzy bit fuzzy noggin The end of the world at the palm of my hand And when it all goes to hell Will you still be my friend? My face to the sea And my backs to the land And if you can't come with me So I get that look. Don't even look real. The end of the world at the These look real talk. Turn my headlamp off here. There you go. Look at that. Goes to hell, will you still be my friend? Face to the sea and my back to the land. The weather gods have been shining on me, look. Amazing. Looks amazing. And there's not as much wind as I thought, so I've come out here to cook up my tea as the sun does its final bow. Try and do this with torch on. Come on. Let's try and be a bit more professional about it. Light. In fact, can I put you on here? This might work, this. Put you on there. <laughs> Snibbler. S oh, whoa, there, a careful guy. You nearly fell over. Can you see, though? Can you tell what it is? You right, of course you can, mate. The knife for this trip is a Spyderco. Spyderco Tenacious. By Torchlight. And it is light, it's really light. Very lightweight. Cuts brilliantly. Um, a good entry into uh, Spyderco. I'm liking them, mate, I'm liking them a lot. Uh, so yeah, very light. <clears throat> really easy to open one-handed, which is quite handy. Quite one-handy. Yeah, it's just little, there's a little thumb 
thumb grip there so you can just all I'm gonna do with it is cut some veg up. Get some coconut oil on. Yes. Just a gas canister with the uh, Pocket Rocket 2 is a stove I'm using. Uh, this is just a pan, a cheap pan I got. I uh, took the handle off. And then I use some, some pot grabbers to make a handle. And it's been working just fine. Get the level sorted. I need a spirit level for the middle of it for an e even oil distribution. <laughs> Here, while all this is going on, look at this. That's what's there. Beautiful. Not a bad little kitchen. I just went to the farmer's shop. It's quite a good farmer's shop, actually, for anyone who knows, Mains Gill Farm Shop. Got myself a ribeye. A tomato, a shroom, and some asparagus. Lay it away from you. And then we'll sear that. Keep it rusty. We're just gonna have to whittle this. Making sure not to whittle our digits. Top tip with your asparagus. So you don't have to cut it, you just bend it. And then wherever it naturally breaks, it means that these bits are more fibrous. You can still eat them, um, use them for stocks and whatnot, but there's, that's the most tender bit. And the end bits can be a bit stringy. Look. Uh. Facing point. Take the juices back on there. Steak can come off. Some Tubby Toms who kindly sent me a gift package. Um, of their one of their subscription boxes and this was in it and it's delicious he's also kindly uh, giving you a 10% off if you want just go to the go to the link below and use hazy rocks uh, in as your as your discount code and you'll get 10% off season these toms with some tubby toms yes get the steak back on the juice is in, let it warm through. There you are. To, oh no, actually, what am I even thinking? Let's get some tubs on steak. Yes. Proper season it, yes. We're done, we're done. That beats one of them rehydrated meals, doesn't it? Freeze dried meals. Ribeye steak, tomatoes, mushrooms. Asparagus, peppered with uh, Toby Tom seasoning. Let's have a look at her. Let's have a see what she's like. Torch on there. They can sort of see my head, can't you? <coughs> oh, my throat. This has got to be my last entry because it's too. It's, my throat's too sore. Mushroom. Oh. Oh. Juicy Tom. Tubby Tom. Mm. Asparagus. I know you know what asparagus looks like, Mush, but. Hold it back in the pan. Steak look, cooked just as I like. <laughs> yes. Right. I need my torch back. I want to enjoy my tea and <clears throat> my throat hurts a bit, so I don't want to be waffling too much. I'm gonna get stuck into this.
I need mean, glampers, a cat. I was warm all night, really warm, comfortable. But kept waking up every time I swallowed because my throat hurt so much. <clears throat> it's about quarter past seven. Uh, the condensation is good, there's no, <clears throat> there's no condensation on the inner tent. There is condensation on the outer tent, but there was, there was and still isn't had any wind. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> I might have to have a couple of days off school. Oh, I don't even know if I'll go for a wild swimming. Wild swimming, you know, because I'm not well. <clears throat> it's not COVID either, for people who are wondering. I, I did two COVID tests and both were negative, so... Just one of your scruff pots at the bushcraft shows, give me some of it. <laughs> Not used to hanging out with that many people. It's just the old Ralph throat that hurts. Right, let's get up. Can't see anything, mate. I'm really impressed with it. I felt safe, I was warm. It was just excellent. Love having the two doors. Condensation wasn't a problem because the inner worked really well. The outer was. There was condensation on the outer, but I've just left it. I've just chilled out for a little bit and the wind's got under and it's pretty much burned dry now. You can see the mist rolling across the top of the hill. Quite splendid. Ah, Again, sorry for the lack of waffle, mate, but my, uh, my throat is hurting me. So I've got to keep the waffle to a minimum. I wanna, uh, well, we'll pack this away, and I'm gonna start heading down that uh, down the ridge back to the truck because it's windy. I've taken everything down and just left one peg in, just so the wind can't blow it away. And then we'll roll that up into the bag, and that's the last thing to go. Saves it blowing off into Irish Sea. That's where my tent was. No sign, no trace. All that good stuff. Clouds are starting to lift. Can't come all the way here and not have a and not um, and not dunk me junk, can I? Or is it bad with sore throat? Might be good for me actually. Wim Hof did. Wim Hof cured all sorts, didn't he? By doing it with breathing and that. So I'll maybe have a dunk of the junk on the way back. Regarde. You alright, mate? I don't want you to spook and tumble off that hill. I just want to ask you something. Mate, where'd you keep your magnolia paint? Which aisle's the magnolia paint on? All right, mate. Maybe you could help me. All right, mate. Where's your dishcloth? Which aisle's your dish? Them little uh, suction things that you push your dishcloth into to keep them stored in your kitchen. All right, ignorant. Now, mate, Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> All right, fair enough. See you later. See you later. Oh, it's deep. We're all okay. Look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Au revoir for now.